The short answer is never. Never. Obviously, it's a bit more nuanced than that. Clearly, if you're starting aged 55, there's going to be people that have been doing this since their early 20s or their teens, so they're going to have 30 years on you in terms of experience, meeting people, networking, um, getting signed to a good agent, getting out there, building a resume. If your ambition is to enter the industry, be a professional, go up for jobs and sometimes book some of them, then that's, then you've got a decent chance of that happening. If it is to enter the industry as a professional and then book leading roles, coming brand new to it, that unless you've got a very specific skill that is all of a sudden needed by this particular project, that's going to be less likely. The strength, the thing going in your favor, let's say you're in your 50s and you're coming into the industry, is that people that, may, that might still be in the industry in their 50s, a lot of those will have profiles and be you know, household names or pseudo household names. So they're not gonna take a role that has eight lines in one scene. They're not gonna take the judge that sits there and maybe has two or three scenes, but only three or four lines across each scene. You know, Simon's in court, um, sit down, um, you know, you, I'll, I'll file you in as being in contempt of court. So there's a certain profile of actor that isn't gonna take that job. That automatically means that you as an unknown actor are in a good position to book that role. So if that's gonna satisfy you and make you happy, and being on a set is gonna be exciting for you and you're gonna have a good time and you're gonna get paid for it and that's gonna feel like a big, big win for you, then go for it. I'm not, I don't want you to limit your ambitions to those sorts of things. I'm just presenting that as the most realistic place that you're gonna find work as um, someone entering the industry, traditionally sort of later than most people enter the industry, really. Yeah. Uh, look, I also think the enjoyment factor is off the charts. <laughs> Howard says, puts it beautifully. He says, you know, if we're going, if we're going to try and become, say, a pastry chef, we don't just straight away start trying to sell a cupcake to people. We make sure that we make a really good cupcake. We go off and we get some training, we get some skills. We try some things out in an area where the risk is... Uh, to, uh, our professional risk is very low in terms of, you know, if something goes wrong, it could count against us professionally, i.e. do some classes, get good at what you do so that you then can present a good cupcake, to stretch the analogy, to people. And then after you've done a little bit of training, um, you know, put yourself, if you're based in Australia, um, put yourself on Star Now, start looking for jobs there and cast and networks and show cast, get yourself really get your sort of professional presence online out there. Um, once you've got a decent, you know, product to show people and then start building your collateral, you're getting your headshots, getting together a showreel and look to secure representation. <laughs> Knowing yourself really helps when acting and all life experience is valuable. We have, what we have to bring to the work is our intellect, our empathy, and our life experience. That's what we have to bring. And if you've got a heck of a lot of life experience, then you've got a heck of a lot to bring to this. So don't devalue that. If you're really new, then find, get some training that works for you. We certainly offer two programs that are specifically designed for people to be able to maintain their current commitments and commit to training. It just means that you have to isolate certain hours to do those classes, um, but it's designed specifically for you to be able to do a job or be a parent or um, that basically just manage whatever commitments you've got and still do some training. So be targeted about what you want from things after a period of time. After a bit, like say yes to everything, and then get discerning with what you want. 
see what gaps need plugging in your experience and what you think you need next to move forward. Um, yeah, and whenever you're in anything as well, always look to reach out to you know professionals, casting directors and agents if you're not signed. Um, and if you are signed, you can still very much legitimately reach out to the casting directors. Um, expect to hear nothing back. Have that be your expectation. But they still like hearing from you, genuinely. And I don't know a casting director on the planet who doesn't want to discover the next big star. And they know that they might have to look in the back room of a pub or in a student film to find that person to bring that to a production and say, hey, I've just found this person. What do you think? And they go, oh, that's exactly who we're looking for. Thank you. And they go, no problem at all. It makes them look and feel great.